How I eat all you can eat hot pot and KBBQ in six steps. Step one, sauce. You must get scallions, garlic, sesame sauce, peanut sauce, chili oil, sesame oil, and sugar. Trust me, even my non-Asian friends love this. Step two, I go right back for the free appetizers like all the different kimchi, seaweed salad, and radish because we gotta hit all those probiotics. Then when the broth comes, grab everything you want from the unlimited conveyor belt that comes with veggies, tofu, seafood, fish cake, and more. The goal is to look like a hoarder. Now step four depends on if you chose KBBQ or hot pot or both, but just chuck everything in the boiling broth. Then I threw in some eggshells for some extra calcium, but you don't have to. Step number five. So now you're actually ready. Take a piece of food, dip it into the sauce, and then let the extra juice soak into the rice like a sponge. This way, it's perfectly sauced up and the rice becomes super flavorful. Step number six. It's finally dessert time. Now this place is called Sea Pot in the Bay Area, and it's the best all-you-can-eat hot pot and KBBQ place I've ever been to. I finished off with fresh strawberries, fried buns in condensed milk, and an ube macaron ice cream sandwich. As a bonus step, get this sweet pear juice because it'll cure all your meat.